So just a, a few slides about uh, biosimilars. And I think a few of you mentioned that you're on uh, biosimilar uh, medication. And the re reason biosimilars have appeared is that uh, so far two of our biologics, that's uh, Humira and uh, Remicade, have, are off patent in Canada. So the patent has expired. And when the patent expires, uh, other companies can make uh, copies of these medications that can be sold and typically sold for a much uh, lower price. Uh, so those copies we call biosimilars. So these are some of the definitions about similars from Health Canada, the FDA, and the European group. It's important because you mentioned that biologics are compl complex proteins. They're very complicated molecules. And you can't just sort of cook them up on your, on your stove. <laughs> you need a bioreactor, you need living cells. They're very hard to make. So, and you can't make identical copies because they're so complicated. So we call them biosimilars because they're not identical. They're similar, highly similar uh, to the uh, original drug. So they're biosimilars to Remicade. They almost, almost impossible to tell the difference, but there are small differences because they're complicated uh, molecules and proteins. That's why they're called uh, biosimilars. But they're thought not to have any clinically meaningful difference in terms of how they work uh, compared to the what we call the reference drug, which is the original one that lost its patent. And you know the reason this is a topic is because of uh, the expense. These are these are expensive medications. They're highly effective medications, and they're expensive, which makes them more and more popular. And if we're moving to more top-down therapy, trying to use them earlier, well, you know, more people end up on on these treatments, and someone has to pay for them. So this just shows you how the cost of biologic drugs in Canada has uh, increased. It's really tripled from over the, over the ten-year interval here, and that's a very big uh, price tag for private insurers to pay and also for, for public insurers. Um, so what are, the, how do they, are they different from biologics? Well, they are less costly. That's really the main uh, difference, but the efficacy and safety are thought to be uh, highly similar, if not to equal. And we kind of think of using these in two ways. We can think of if you if you haven't been on any of these medications before, you need to go on a biologic. Uh, we could start you on a biosimilar as opposed to the, the original brand name uh, drug. And uh, many insurance companies in, in parts of Canada, uh, public uh, insurers have chosen not to pay for the original brand name. They'll only pay for biosimilar because it's a lot less expensive. That's, that's the less controversial scenario. The other scenario is what we call non-medical switch. That is, you're on the reference drug uh, and uh, your insurance has decided they're no longer going to pay for that. So you get switched to one of the biosimilars. We call that a non-medical switch. And that's already happened to patients who get public insurance, for example, in Alberta and uh, British Columbia. Yeah, you know, I will say that the experience with that has been very reassuring and it's happened all throughout the world that this is, that people have undergone these non-medical switches and it seems to be uh, not a big deal for most people, but it can be a little stressful and you know, different patient support programs, sometimes you have to go to a different place to get the infusion, but they do seem to work uh, uh, equally well to the reference drug. Uh, important note is if you somehow you failed Remicade or Humira, going on one of their biosimilars does not make any sense because it's really the same medication. So you wouldn't use a biosimilar uh, to Remicade in a patient who's already failed Remicade. So that's, I think, uh, worth noting. But the last point I think is true that all the, the clinical trials of these uh, biosimilars and the experience in various countries throughout the world has really been quite uh, favorable. So it's really a, a cost-saving exercise. 